we go on a Saturday night in Death Valley. No chance for a return, and Shelton Epler will lead Northwestern State. Hit as he throws. It's complete for a Northwestern State first down. That's Quan Shorts. See Epler incomplete. Trying to find Shorts again. That time, Damone Clark brought the pressure. Practice on Thursday. He's trying to clear the way, and they go over the middle, and that's caught and hauled in by the senior tight end. It's a pickup of nine. Downfield uh, last week against Texas. This is complete to Justin Jefferson, and Jefferson takes it inside the 15. So Stephon Sub is three for three against Texas in his home state last Saturday night. And he bangs that one through as LSU is able to score on its first possession. Four-man rush. Epler's strong arm. Complete pass midfield. And a Demons first down on a 28-yard strike. Down eight. Pressure coming. Epler over the middle. Complete to Shorts in a first down. Dave Aranda's trying to feel good for defensive coordinators. After the penalty, first down. Epler looking in zone. Fires. Quan Shorts has it. Touchdown. Northwestern State. It's the first ever score for Northwestern State in the history of this series. First ever touchdown, excuse me, comes in the 12th meeting, and it's a 17-yard strike. Wow. How about Northwestern State? Brad Smiley, the optic coordinator, has come in here with a great plan. Had a trips cluster to the field here. Little levels. Of Burrow. Pulls it back, completes it over the middle. Terrace Marshall Jr. to midfield on a 20-yard strike in the first quarter. With LSU, that's what he's brought to this offense. Burrow going through his progressions, fires to the sideline, and a catch by Stephon Sullivan before he's drilled in the back after a gain of 16. Burrow comfortable in the pocket, another strike to the edge. Terrace Marshall Jr. picks up 14. Tempo, Edwards Hilaire dances to the outside and into the end zone. It's a four yard touchdown run for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. you've ever watched and it reminds me maybe just because the height of a Barry Sanders that jump cut Whoop. hey see ya against Texas down the field between the numbers and he's going right there again and that's complete to Justin Jefferson and he picks up a first down thanks to a 21 yard gain I mean let those numbers percentage of his balls and this offense is being more productive and efficient over the middle again between the numbers again this time it's Derek Dillon talking with Joe Burrow yesterday Burrow, aiming in zone, and it gets through, and into the hands of Terrace Marshall. A 14-yard strike. Is that who he was throwing to? I don't know. For a second, it looked like he was looking for number 10, Stephon Sullivan, up the middle of the field. Yes, record tonight, but still doesn't stop the mission of improving this defense. Over the middle, that's complete, and bouncing off dudes and running for a first down. Northwestern State. They only have three on the line of scrimmage. Everybody else back in coverage. Epler fires wide open. Touchdown, David Fitzwater. A 26-yard touchdown pass. Complete breakdown of coverage here. Man.
Not sure exactly what happened on the outside there. But there was some miscommunication. Just a double move. Hey, Northwestern State answering the bell, Tom. Ever run completely by everybody. There's Stingley and Trevez Moore on that side. Joe Burrow back to work. And a first down catch by Justin Jefferson. And watch for a shot play here. Burrow pulls it back. They almost got him. Rolls out and completes it to Stephon Sullivan. Red zone. As the defense adds to that box, they've struggled getting consistent push. To the ground game again. And Hilaire is in for the second time tonight. And it wasn't perfect there. But Edward, Edward Hilaire does a great job of getting skinny and finding that hole, which you got to do down in the low red zone. Great run. Tigers perfect in the red. Accepted. Northwestern State with the pick by Dylan Wilson. And the Demons, with under a minute to go in the first half, have a chance to add some points. And this here, really the first mistake that we've seen from Joe Burrow all season. Interception last week was tipped. This one, he just stares down. Dylan Wilson is reading Joe Burrow's eyes, playing outside leverage there, watching the flats but just read the eyes of Joe Burrow the entire way. Trying to hit a corner out to Justin Jefferson. Chip shot, missed it wide. Well, this Northwestern safe. Burrow keeps it, dives into the end zone. A touchdown run for the gunslinger, Joe Burrow. That's just a good read, zone read here. Kyle Moore, number 35, crashes on the running back, and there is absolutely nobody home. His grandma, Dot Ford, scored 82 points for Smithville High School in a Mississippi High School game. That extra point is pushed right. That's right, 82. What? 82? For grandma, Dot. Anybody else score in that they game? They had shooters shoot. Demons drop back. Burrow trying to thread the needle. And he does it again. Terrace Marshall for the second time tonight. These are the types of throws that Joe Burrow didn't have in his arsenal last year. And he admitted it yesterday when we talked to him. He's like, look, I focused on my lower body. I focused on creating more velocity with my throws, throwing off platform better. You saw it in third and 17 against Texas, off platform, barely two. And John Emery takes it in from four yards out. The freshman from St. Rose at Adestra Hen High School. And that was his first touchdown. They finish it off with a run, but that drive was on the arm of Joe Burrow. And you saw there what he's doing with his lower body. It's called creating a disassociation. Your hips should go first, and then your upper body, because you've created torque, is going to come through like a golf swing, right? You get that club all the way up, your hips go first, create some torque, and it comes through. That takes pressure off your arm. It increases your velocity. And that's one thing in Joe Burrow's game I've noticed. He's driving the ball more consistently on a rope as well as driving it more. Oh, count me out. I take back what I said. Another chance. He didn't leave anything to doubt this time. His offensive line put dudes four yards into the end zone. And Davis Price has his first touchdown finally. Good push there up front. Look at that. Every offensive line. Nerd. They take it seriously. We had a wonderful dinner at Stabs. It was absolutely delicious. And they couldn't have been nicer. 
And so we apologize that you're also mistaken. Big chance for a run back on the punt. And LSU is going to take it to the house. 37-yard punt. 53 on the return for Trey Palmer. You just felt like at some point they were going to break it. Derek Stingley had a couple that almost break er, broke earlier in the game. And I tell you what, Trey Palmer was fun to watch in practice. They used him a lot in the slot. He's a great athlete. They'll use him more on the offensive side. A staple for this new LSU offense. Straight ahead. And a lunge at the goal line will put him in. A touchdown from two yards out. Tyrion Davis Price. Second touchdown of the game. Nice earrings. Looks probably got to hurt after a while.